there's a lot of interest among today's musicians in performing music composed in the years before there were any audio recordings and playing it the way we think it would have sounded at that time. Wind instruments present a special challenge because relatively few of the originals have survived in good condition, and in many cases they are missing essential parts, like mouthpieces. This is an original saxophone mouthpiece by Adolf Sax. Only a handful of these are known to exist. And then we replicated this with additive manufacture. Whenever you're dealing with an antique original, there's a potential for harm to that original. We were seeking a method to get around the potential for harm and to minimize error. We've devised a way to use microcomputed tomography, or micro-CT, to measure original instrument parts. This is similar to a medical CT scan, but much more precise. We have here the uh, saxophone tenor mouthpiece, and as you can see, we have the 3D image, uh, which could be fed into 3D printers, and, and we can create the exact replicas. It's been interesting to take the ideas from medicine of using CT and advanced imaging and to apply them to what is really an artisanal process of studying and replicating antique musical instruments. And then my left hand is a C tenor saxophone as made by Adolf Sax around 1880. And there are only three or four of these in existence and there are no mouthpieces. However, Dr. Shabazz Mohammadeh's CAD file permitted us to print a mouthpiece, which I have now modified for use on this instrument. Here it is with the additive manufactured mouthpiece. Plays perfectly well for the first time in a century. To show the value of our research for performers and others who are interested in early music, we've brought together four saxophonists. And it's a pretty safe bet that this is the first time this piece has been played with original instruments and authentically designed mouthpieces since the 19th century. It really is just a once in a lifetime opportunity to yeah. play on. I mean, I never, I've seen them in museums, I never thought I'd actually touch one. And it's like, you know, an unbelievable honor.